My name is Andy Arnold, and I practice law in Greenville, South Carolina, and I handle nursing home abuse and neglect cases. And I want to talk to you a little bit more about staffing, because staffing is really connected to every negative outcome that residents experience in the nursing home setting. First of all, why would a nursing home uh, understaff? Labor costs are one of the primary expenses for a nursing home. And so if you can do more with less, have fewer employees doing more work, it increases your bottom line. And so essentially understaffing is connected to higher profits. The problem is, is that when you understaff, things just don't get done. When you're understaffed, employees do not have the time to do everything for all the residents. So some residents don't get fed. They don't get uh, all the, the, the hydration they need. And that results in malnutrition, weight loss, and dehydration, which can cause all kinds of medical problems. Um, when you're understaffed, you're unable to go turn and reposition all the residents as required in their care plans. That results in skin breakdown and pressure ulcers. That leads to a whole host of other medical problems. When you're understaffed, one person instead of two assists residents in the transfer from bed to chair, from chair to bed. That results in falls and drops, which results in fractures bones. So staffing is connected to all the essential functions of a nursing home, and understaffing is the primary cause of harm and injury to residents of a nursing home.